guys! So today we are going to be making for you salted caramel oatmeal. That's right, it's Patty's favourite. And we're going to be making it in one pot. So we've got a few ingredients and it's going to be made so quick. So, ready, ready, ready to make it all? Ready? Yes? Yes! <laughs> Let's get started! Yay! Yay! Hi, Luffy! Hey. So for this recipe you're going to need 16 dates and because we're using medjool dates that are unpitted, you need to pit them first. You want to tear them apart and take out that pit and then you just want to give them a rough chop and then just, just like that into thirds and then that's going to go into our pot. So guys, if you don't already eat dates, you really need to incorporate them into your lifestyle. Adam and I eat tons of dates. And these are actually medjool dates. So if you've only had dried dates, those do not compare. Medjool dates are juicy and delicious. And these are actually, they were sent to us from Israeli farmers, and they are so juicy, like the juiciest dates that we have ever had. Dates are really high in fiber. They have low GI profile. You tell them. Yes, that. They also have that. And they're natural sweeteners, so as you'll see, Adam's not gonna <laughs> Adam's not gonna use any uh, refined sugar. This the dates are gonna sweeten up. Yes, they're gonna sweeten up the oatmeal. Um, so you can use them in recipes. We put dates in crusts, like an almond crust, and use some dates, and that'll make a really nice crust for a pie or a cake or whatever. There's already also been research done. <laughs> on women who are pregnant um, and that it's shown that if you eat a lot of dates in your pregnancy that it's gonna help your labor I'll link that study below because it's really interesting if you're pregnant when I was pregnant I was eating like tons, tons of, dates. of dates and I had a really good labor and birth so um, not that it's just a date but you know dates definitely can help you so um, if you're pregnant you should be chowing down on the dates and another awesome thing about dates is that if you're craving something sweet you can just have one medjool date and your craving will be, you'll be done. You'll fulfill your craving and then you won't be looking for anything unhealthy. So dates are amazing and they should definitely be part of your lifestyle. That's right. Now let's boil them and make these cold salted caramel oats. To cook the dates, you're gonna place them into a pot and then you wanna cover them with four cups of water. Turn the heat on high. Once it comes to a boil, you can turn it down to low. Give it a stir. Add a pinch of salt. And add in two cups of oats. Mix it all together. Let it cook on low for 10 minutes. Nice and gooey and caramelly. Look at that. Beautiful. And now we can turn it off. And it's done. Easy as that, guys. So if you want more recipes like this, you can check out our plant-based cookbook. This recipe is actually on page 54. Uh, the salted caramel oats. And the recipe makes four portions. So of course, once it cools down, you can separate it into your meal prep containers if you like, or you can uh, serve a portion for yourself as I have done. And yeah, make sure you check all the links in the description box below, and catch you next time. Bye guys! Did you want to say bye? You want to say bye? Bye bye, good girl, bye bye! Bye bye, good girl, bye bye! Say bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh, Bubba Louie. Mwah! Cup candy. Cup candies. <laughs> Good girl, Good girl. <laughs>